What up, y'all? How's it going? Ben Dean here. Today, I'm going to be eating some, some what, what, what do I even call this? This is like some homestyle fusion. So over here, I got some bacon cheeseburger rice. And over here, I got some pizza spaghetti, pizza pasta, pizza getty. I'm going to call it some pizza getty. And this is looking mighty fine. So let me show you this rice real quick. Bunch of stuff mixed in here. We got some beef. We got some cheese. We got some bacon. And I think there's some pickles up in there as well. And then over here, we got some spaghetti with a bunch of cheese and pepperonis on top. So I've never really had anything like either of these before, but they both make sense in my mind. And I figured, hey, Let's give it a shot. And it's probably gonna be good. I know it's gonna be good, but how good? That's the question. Let me start off with this uh, cheesy bacon cheeseburger it's rice, I guess. Let me see if, you know, there's looks like a good amount of cheese in there. You can kind of see some, some cheese pull. Uh, we got some solidified cheese down there on the bottom. I'm gonna just mix that up in there. Maybe it'll melt back in there phone going off what a noob but uh all right look at that that's that's pretty decent let's get it let's get a bite shut up this is where it's at i'm i'm a little bit discombobulated man i was a uh, no real reason just one of them days you ever get them days where you're discombobulated anyway off to a bad start but i'll tell you what this is mighty fine i'll tell you what right now so cheesy the that's the first thing i noticed how much cheese is in there i was underestimating the amount of cheese that was going to be in here you get the saltiness and the meatiness from that bacon uh the beef that's in there but then that pickle that kind of sweet pickle in there which i okay i prefer some dill but it does cut through the saltiness and the the greasiness of this uh of the other components I love stuff like this this is kind of reminds me of like hamburger helper a little bit I feel like there's some hamburger helpers with actual with rice instead of the pasta Isn't that a thing nowadays? I'm not 100% sure, but it's just a medley. A medley of deliciousness and easy to, easy to eat. I love the, mm, this is mighty fine. I might eat this up too quick. I'm about to pace myself. By the way, this was 24 bucks. I could definitely make this better. Get some bigger pieces of of ground beef in there and switch to, to dill pickles that'd be an automatic a let me go in for this i mean i don't know why i haven't thought of this before i saw it on a menu i'm like that's pretty genius you know so super cheesy spaghetti with pepperonis on top uh no other components as far as i know but let's try it out I mean, it, it just makes sense, doesn't it? Who doesn't love pizza and pasta? Man, if I was you, I would just go home. I would just make this right now, if I was you. Make some spaghetti and just put in a bunch of pepperonis. And cheese. I don't think you can be disappointed with this one right here. Very cheesy again. They don't skimp on the cheese here. Let me get one big, I'm gonna get one big swirl. The world's biggest twirl, there we go. That's a big twirl. Let me get one more around the, the bend. This is crazy, I don't, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's going for a big bite.
Delicious, man. I wasn't sure how this was gonna taste, if the pepperonis were gonna stand out and be like, well, that's, that's weird, but they really blend in and it really just works in harmony. I'll tell you what. That's harmonious. Y'all might call me crazy for this one. Since I'm Ben Dean, you know I have to do it. The double up. Not the best idea there. I knew that though. Anyway. It is what it is. I'm sure there's there's really not too much to say about these foods. I mean, it's home style, but it's got a little fusion aspect to it, and it's mighty fine. Mm. These two dishes here really, they really make me miss home, to be honest. One thing I really miss about America is going to Walmart, going to the grocery store and getting a pound of ground beef for super cheap. You can't get that here. I mean, you can find ground beef here, but for one, it's really expensive, overpriced. They don't have the tubes. I like the tubes. And for two, it doesn't taste the same to me from what I've had. I mean, there must be some places you can get good ground beef for a decent price, maybe, maybe not. But these were some of my go-to cheap and easy meals that I think every, every household, you know, everyone can relate to. Spaghetti and hamburger helper. I really miss hamburger helper, man. Macaroni and cheeseburger. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. If I ever go back to America, first thing I'm making might be a meatloaf. If you want to make a decent sized meatloaf here, that shit would be costing you bucks. And not a lot of ovens around here either. I couldn't even make a meatloaf if I wanted to. That went by pretty quick, I can't lie. I wasn't even that hungry, but uh, devoured that. I devoured this food. Last bite already. Got SJ over there eating her meal. She started eating like 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. I don't think she's even done yet. That's what happens though, that's what happens. This food goes down quick. Not a lot of tough chewing in there, it just kinda goes down the gullet. But you know what, my stomach's happy. I'm experimenting with a little different background setup. Got some wall hangings back here, as you can see, I got the elephant head hanging up there. Uh, there it is, just a quick little video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.